So hey guys welcome back in Kurvanga YT and in this video I'll show you that how you can simply connect it your epic online service with your Unreal Engine 5. Yep. So now Unreal Engine new feature come that you can directly contact uh, contact your epic online service with your Unreal Engine 5 without downloading any SDK. So how? So let me show you. So first of all we will be go in epic online game service. So just uh, swing up with your epic account and go to developer portal and at the developer portal it will be take some time to load then create a product so you need to give your product name so in my case i'm giving that test and then click on next and then you can if you want you can upload an image for now we'll be skip for this so here our test our product is now created so just click on open then we will be go to product settings so at here as you can see that there we need some to set up something that's central and the application so for that you need to go to simply environment first and then just go let we need to add a provider so just click on add a provider so at the provider as you can see there's a lots of provider are available so we'll be use the epic one so just we need to discord google hijack playstation so it'll be said by google and oh sorry not 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 here we need to first of all set the central yep sorry we need to first set a central so just add a new central and you can you need to set a central name then you can set any name okay so in my case i'm that now and then we'll be click on add a policy so if you want you can just click on your now okay and nothing you need to just add some that as you can see there's a trusted server p 2 per game central okay so we'll be set it to trusted server so all this stuff will be lobbies and the player storage they all, all will be available then we'll be click on save and exit and then click on save and exit so as you can see now our some ids are now add here so then let's go to now again to general and let's see are the everything is come as you can see only the application is not access so we need to just set up the application so here as you can see the configuration click on config so add here the configuration so as you can see so it can be kind of like that so you need to just go to permission and just click on enable enable okay make sure you do this or it will be not work then click on save and then just go to here and select your now click on saved and when all the stuff done come on back and then go to again your project settings and as you can see here all this stuff are now come okay now let's come in unreal engine and at unreal engine you need to you can create any type of template so i'm creating a third person then we can call this thing anything so we'll be call this for now us then click on create so yeah okay so as you can see our template is now ready so you need to go to edit then go to project settings at the project settings oh sorry guys for it's just loading okay so one is load then go to your plugins so at the plugins you need to search that eos and you find like this that online subsystem that eos that online subsystem for epic online service click on enable click on yes then click on restart now so it will be restart your plug project and it will be now open just wait some time okay guys so your us and is now worked and now you need to go to edit then your project settings now if you just scroll some you find the there's a new service available for you that epic online service so you need to now add your stuff here that as you can see there's a, some thing you need to add click on this add button so at here you can see the you need to add your company name then your ids and other things so will be set up like that what we select just taste what we set in our hair will be just pasted at here so let me just do like this or just grab my this thing at here so it will be help us to you know to the work fastly so let me set up this position so i think it will be good more 
so then as you can see we need to add our central id so here's our project id as you can see so we need to find the central id so just click on copy and just paste that here and then after the central id we need to add this central security that is the key and just paste it here then you need to add your project id make sure guys for tutorials i'm just showing you but in your case don't share with this anything if you are publishing your game or you know your database will be gone for hacked okay then you need to add your sandbox id so here then you need to add your development id so here and this is a key available okay this is called a security key so you will find this here so if if you don't have this uh, key so don't worry also so then click on enable overlay enable show share overlay and then to just select your this thing at here okay so also use the epic online service that cross platform id so you need to just set up here something net mirror page with yes cross section i achievement and then mirror with status with epic online service so now we can save this thing and our service the epic online service is now ready to contact contact with this so we can now find the eos that epic online sub, uh, subsystem that sub uh, subsystem they should become the subsystem sub SD. As you can see the subsystem plugins are now available so you can use them for your game okay so also you can use the find match and login and all this stuff okay because here all the all the you know stuff are now come so you can log in register and everything so guys make sure this is now only connected but for making a actual hosting type game and other thing you need to uh, buy some plugins from Unreal Engine marketplaces so then you can fully control with the blueprint code okay for now you can maybe find this that find section let's uh, see find section and then you can join or create create a section create a uh, section okay kind of like you can do for now like that but this is not 100% work it's only for okay so you can use that get player controller id or controller then if it's success so we can use that join the section and this is basically this one so as you can see there's a search result uh, search result should become okay so use you can use the lan or something also so yep so before that uh, you need to first of all uh before the join first of all you need to make sure that you need to find that thing after the create if is the create successful so will be simply need the player con controller and then use the lan and we can use that join section should be work get a copy or you can use the reference so you can plug with your reference one so then if it's success so we can join that section okay so then we can use that open level by our reference so that is our third person okay at the player is our get player controller okay so yeah so if one you can also you enable the public connection one and maximum results is one okay so just keep comp compile and save now like this simulation you can basically make your own you know online type game so i just hope you understand if you have any question you can comment in my comments thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye see you in next video